Hey everyone, my name is Ryan Mueller and I am a MSP consultant here at ProVeltech. Today I want to go through how to track down alerts coming through Automate. Let's get into it. First step is to find the ticket that you are looking to track down. You can do so by getting to going to Service Desk Support Tickets and then clicking on the All button. Here you can search for a specific ticket you are looking for. Today I'm just going to grab a random one just for an example. So let's get into it with this processor utilization one. Let's say we needed to know where this alert was coming from and disable it. First step is opening the ticket and then going to ticket data. From there you can click on the asset button here and it will open the computer management screen. Once you've gotten there you can right click on the gear and select effective policy. Effective policy basically shows you where everything is located and where it's coming from on the back end of Automate. So from here you can go through the remote monitors and internal monitors to find out what alert that is coming from. So because we're looking for perf processor utilization we're going to look through internal monitors, see if there's anything similar to that name. If you cannot find it in here, then check the remote monitors and see if it's a remote monitor. Because there's no indication that this monitor is an internal monitor, I'm going to check the remote monitors. From here, you can see there is a perf processor utilization monitor right here and from here you can see the group it's applied to service plans windows workstations managed 24 by 7 in which case you can go out and browse to the group here and find your monitor managed 24 by 7 Go to computers, remote monitors, and here we have our monitor that we would like to modify, change, delete, however you would like to do it. Now there's another option here. Occasionally scripts will be creating tickets and they will not exist in the current monitor list for remote or internal monitors. In this case, there is a way you can track these down as well. Uh, so for instance, I'm going to pick one out of here uh, that's clearly a result of a script. Uh, in this case, it's failed to download a Java EXE install file, install aborted. So to find where this ticket is coming from, uh, do the same thing with the asset tab and uh, it's just going to open up your same window here and from there you can go to the scripts tab to see if you can find the script that is causing it because this was created on March 2nd I can see I can look within that window and you can see that there is a Java install that failed you can double click this to open up the script and in this case you can see these tickets are being created from this script uh, and you can continue your troubleshooting from there thanks for watching